Hello and welcome uh, to this project. So before we start coding, uh, let's take a look at the projects that we are going to make. So this is our project. So the user, once he is in the home page, so he can view or browse posts. He can paginate posts and also he can uh, filter by categories, uh, tags, uh, And also he can view posts. So here we have the post details. We can view the next post. We can go back to the previous post. We can view comments. And here we have the comments. And I can add comments only if I am logged in. So we can register. So let's register a new user. Register. And once done, I am redirected to the home page. So now I can add comments. So let's add a new comments for this post, save, and here is the command, I can add more commands, and let's add another one, and another one, and once we reach three or more than three commands, we can load more commands, as you can see. Also, the user can search for posts. Uh, let's search for something that doesn't exist. Uh, so we get no search results found. So let's look for something that exists. Uh, And here we have the post, so let's click on it. Once I click on it, I am redirected to the post. Also here I can search for posts or uh, search for posts using the tags. Also I can change the language, so here by default it's English, so we can change it to French. So as you can see now it changed to French and French is active. And here I can see that it's changed, and here we can see that the extension is FR, and here it's changed, and also here, and I can view post details, and also here we have French, and here it's French, and here also it's changed to French, the next and previous posts. So this is the projects that we are going to make. So the next thing that you need to do is to create a new fresh Laravel 11 application. So I have already done this step. So try to create your own. And once done, let's move to the terminal. So we need to create the models and the migrations. So let's create the first model. So the first model will be the category model. And we need also the, my, the migration with the factory and seeder. So let's hit enter. And once done, let's move to the next model, which is tag model. And we need also the migration factory and seeder. And next one, which is the post. And next one, which is the commands. And here we don't need the factory and seeder. We need only the migration because the commands, we will add them later. And also we need a pivot table. 
that will hold the, the tag ID and post ID. So the posts model will belong to many tags and the tags or the tag will belong to many posts. So we need to create a pivot table that will hold the foreign key which is the post ID and the tag ID. So let's do that now. So make migration and the migration let's uh, name it create post tag table and hit enter so now we have all the migrations let's move to the first one which is uh, the category migration so here the category will have uh, name and name so we will have two fields so the first one is string and will be name in english and we can have another one for name in french and you can change the language if you want to use any language other than the French, you can use it. So for me, I will use English and French just to demonstrate how we can change the language of our blog. And also we have slug. And slug also string and slug needs to be unique. Next, uh, let's copy from here. Let's move to the tags. And here inside the tags, also the tag uh, will have uh, the name. So let's paste here. So here we have the name of the tag and we can use only the name. So we don't need to use the name in French and English because the tags will be with the one or will be in the same language and we don't need the slack can use only the id so next let's uh, move to the next uh, which is uh, the post so here so each post will have a title so here we have the title the title in english and in french and also we need the slug and slug needs to be unique and also we need the body and the body we have the body in french and in english and the body needs to be a long text and also we need the, the photo so let's change this one to photo and the photo will be will not be unique and i think uh, that's all but i think we have something else which is the category id so each each post will belong to a category so let's add here the foreign id foreign foreign ID and here let's change it to or let's add constrained constrained and on cascade so we have a function here on cascade cascade delete so this is the category ID and I think that's all. So we have the title in English, title in French, slug, the body in English and the body in French. And also we have photo or you can change it to image. I think that image is better than photo. And also we have the category ID, which is foreign ID, constrained and on cascade delete. So let's move to the next one. And here it's cascade on delete, not 
on cascade delet so sorry for this mistake it's cascade on delet so now we have done with post migration let's move to the commands so here what you will have so let's change or let's copy and paste so we need the, the body of the commands and the body will be long text so here let's give it body and what else we need so let's move back to the post table so here let's bring it for an id and use it here so we need the user id user who added command and post id post that has been commented so let's save and that's all and let's move to the final one which is the post tag migration and here as we have said before so you will have two foreign ids so the first one is the tag id and the post id and we save so that's all for all the migrations so let's run php artisan migrates and let's create the database and everything is done successfully now we have our database with the, the tables that we need so now let's move to the or to seed in our database so let's add some posts with the with categories or let's add some categories and tags and posts so we can display the posts later in the home page so let's do that now 